श्री गणेशाय नम ओ मई सरस्वत नम ओ श्री गुरवे नम ओ भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्म धो यो न प्रचोदयात कृष्णाए वासुदेवाय हरे परमात्मने प्रणत क्लेशनाशाए गोविंदाए नमो नमः नम ओंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकम बंधना मृत्योर्मोक्षीय शांति 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 हरिओं तत्सत वेलकम टू टूडेज योग वशिष्ठ सत्संग ईच फ्राइडे वी एंजॉय दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्रोफाउंड स्क्रिप्चर टुगेदर एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू for your serious sadhaks i would say because only serious and advanced sadhaks can digest this deep scripture and this profound satsanga aap sab ka dhanyawad jo jo jude hain ye bahut good satsang hai yog vashishth ka jude rahiye anand lete rahiye bhagwan ki kripa aap sab par barse our humble prostrations to the all pervading brahman to our worshipful guru ji Swami Jyotir Mayanand Ji Maharaj, to all sages and saints, all the wonderful scriptures, and to the divinity in every one of you. हमारा दंडवत प्रणाम है उस ब्रह्मांडीय ईश्वरीय शक्ति को, हमारे परम पूज्य गुरुदेव स्वामी ज्योतिर मायनंद जी महाराज को, सब साधु संतों को, ऋषियों मुनियों को, इन पवित्र ग्रंथों को और आप सब में विद्यमान परमेश्वर को. Let us. Hold our hands in prayer. Touch Mother Earth. Thank every element, earth, water, fire, air, ether, that is everywhere around us, and our body is also made of this only. May these elements protect us, keep us safe, healthy, and may there be happiness in the world. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramaya. सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित दुख भाग भवेत मे नो वन सफर मे ऑल बी हैप्पी मे ऑल बी पीसफुल एंड डिजीज फ्री मे देयर बी नो हंगर नो शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड मे गॉड्स ब्लेसिंग्स एंड मिरेकल्स कंटिन्यू टू वर्क इन इट्स मिस्टीरियस वेज एंड हेल्प ऑल दीस सोल्स हु मे नीड द हेल्प let us pray with our open hearts for all of them and when we pray for all we are also included in all jab hum sab ko sab ke liye prarthna karte hain usme hamara ginti bhi ho hi jata hai keval apne liye kuch nahi mange sab ke liye mange wahi ek unchi sthiti hai so with that devotion and prayer let us chant our kirtan together Before that, let us read our Guru Ji's message, which we always do. So, Swami Ji says, "Blessed self adorations, Divyatman Shubh Ashirvad. Please learn the art of surrender to God. Bhagwan ke sharanagat ho jaiye. God is the innermost essence of your life." भगवान आपके अंदर का गुड़ तत्व है द सोर्स ऑफ इनफाइनाइट लव असीमित प्रेम प्रभु से ही प्राप्त होता है 
एंड द रियलिटी बिहाइंड दिस वर्ल्ड और इस संसार चक्र को जो चला रहे हैं वे भी प्रभु ही हैं सरेंडर डज नॉट मीन दैट यू स्टॉप योर सेल्फ एफर्ट शरणागति का ये मतलब नहीं कि तुम अपना कार्य करना बंद कर दो कि भगवान सब कुछ करेंगे यू मस्ट ऑलवेज परफॉर्म सेल्फ एफर्ट टू द बेस्ट ऑफ योर एबिलिटी आपको हमेशा अपना पूर्ण श्रम और अभ्यास करना है जितनी आप में क्षमता हो उतना एंड लीव द रेस्ट इन डिवाइन हैंड्स आफ्टर यू हैव पुट इन योर बेस्ट एफर्ट नाउ रिलैक्स just like think of this like taking a flight your job is to buy the ticket make sure you wake up in time have all the important documents your passport your driver's license whatever is needed your luggage and you clear the security in time do everything that you are capable of and board the flight once you are in the chair <laughs> nothing any more is needed you are done it's the divine plan after that pilot takes over isn't it you have no control so then don't get stressed about it is the driver drunk is the pilot drunk will the flight leave on time whatever happens is divine will and the action so therefore that is what we call our own effort reaching to the airport in time and taking your seat and getting there and after that divine plan practically we see it much in the same way do all your effort dedicating it to god don't leave even one stone unturned meaning put in everything everything that you are capable of and then after that don't keep thinking about it time to study for the exam is before the exam <laughs> so put in the effort now before the exam and after the exam is over relax go watch a movie play have fun wait for the result to come enjoying the sweetness of surrender remain relaxed even during the baffling conditions of life तो जब आप शरणागत हो जाते हैं तो शांत हो जाइए रिलैक्सिंग इज अ ब्यूटीफुल आर्ट मोस्ट पीपल डोंट नो हाउ टू एंजॉय हाउ टू रिलैक्स ऑलवेज कंप्लेनिंग व्हेन दे आर एट वर्क दे आर थिंकिंग ऑफ वेकेशन व्हेन दे आर ऑन वेकेशन दे आर थिंकिंग ऑफ वर्क वरीड वट विल हैपन so this is the dichotomy that we go through as human beings not knowing why is that why do we do that because we are not in harmony with our own selves we say something think something and do something if everything is consistent yadi hamara soch hamara vachan aur hamara karm ek seedh saad jaye seedh jaye to hame kuch bhi stress nahi aayega pareshani nahi aayegi so isiliye अपना कर्तव्य करके शांत हो जाइए प्रभु के शरणागत हो जाइए और देखिए कि कितने चमत्कार होते हैं डिवाइन मिरेकल्स वर्किंग ऑफ डिवाइन ग्रेस सो दैट इज व्हाट यू विल विटनेस इफ यू आर अ सिंसियर एस्पायरेंट सिंसियर साधक सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सरेंडर नॉट नॉट डूइंग योर ड्यूटी that is not surrender so do your duty after that you resign to god's will suppose the flight doesn't take on time take off on time okay that's god's will what can you do so just manage adjust adapt and adjust do the best you can and um, if adversity comes that too shall pass away prosperity also shall pass away you are getting annoyed is not going to solve the problem isn't it taking action will and do the best you can under all circumstances apna bharsak prayas karke bhagwan ke charno mein chhod dijiye may god bless you dain swami jyotirmayananda so very practical lesson for all of us 
and we tend to forget these things because we take them for granted but this should not be it's very simple most of spirituality is not very different than your worldly experience you just have to change the flow of the <laughs> activities but they will activities are the same you still have to use your eyes your bhavna feelings emotions intellect bhakti devotion all these things so when you put them in focus in the world you succeed in the world when you put them in focus in the spiritual world you succeed in the spiritual world also to dono mein safalta milna sambhav hai it is possible to be successful both in in the in the physical world and in the spiritual world also so let us continue our satsang our kirtan together and then we will move on to yoga vashishta hari om जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश पाही मां श्री गणेश श्री गणेश श्री गणेश रक्ष मां शरवण भव शरवण भव शरवण भव पाही मां कार्तिके 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 रक्ष मां जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती पाही मां श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती रक्ष मां जय गुरु शिव गुरु हरि गुरु राम जगत गुरु परम गुरु सद गुरु श्याम ओम आदि गुरु अद्वैत गुरु आनंद गुरु ओम चिद गुरु चिद घन गुरु चिन माया गुरु ओम जगत गुरु ओम गुरु सचितानंदा शंकराचार्य शिवानंद ज्योतिर्मयानंदा ओम नम शिवा ओम नम शिवा ओम नम शिवा ओम नम शिवा शिव 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 शिवाय नम ओम हर 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 नम शिवा ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते रामचंद्राय हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे आंजनेया 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 पाही माम हनुमंता 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 रक्ष माम ओम शक्ति ओम शक्ति ओम शक्ति पाही माम ब्रह्मा शक्ति विष्णु शक्ति शिव शक्ति रक्ष माम आदि शक्ति महाशक्ति पराशक्ति पाही माम इच्छा शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति रक्ष मां गंगा रानी गंगा रानी गंगा रानी पाही मां भागीरथी 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 रक्ष मां हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि 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 ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि 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 ओम ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति 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 ओम तो लेट अस कंटिन्यू आर योग वशिष्ट सत्संग from where we left off last friday we were on today we are sec starting section 172 we had completed section 171 negation of the world process we are now in the concluding phase of yog vashisht hum ab yog vashisht ke antim charan par pahunch chuke hain it is called nirvan prakarana nirvan meaning liberation mukti self realization forever terminating the cycles of life and death 
reincarnation. So, Sage Vashisht continues to give this knowledge to Lord Rama. So, Vashisht Muni Bhagavan Ram ko Smriti ke baare mein gyan de rahe hain ki Smriti ko bhi uh, avidya hi samjho. Think of the negation of memory also that we rely so much on. So Sri Vashishtha continued, O Sri Ram, Brahma, the creator, is of the nature of cosmic mind. Just like your mind is of the nature of what all the things you do, all the thoughts you have. Mind is what? A bundle of thoughts, samskaras that surface up from your consciousness all the time. Good thoughts, bad thoughts, worldly thoughts, spiritual thoughts, all that is coming in through the intellect, the mind. There it filters into the senses and so on. And then we dream. Much in the same way, Jesse hum swapna dekhte hain, aise hi Brahma ji bhi swapna dekhte hain. Or jab Brahma ji swapna dekhte hain, koon se man se usko bola jata hai Hiranya Garbha. That cosmic mind is also known as Hiranya Garbha because it is golden in attributes and nature. His creation is in the form of mental vibrations. Spandan, the Hindi word is spandan. When the vibrations are agitating us through which we see dreams and actions and even movements, they are all through the mental vibrations agitation. Otherwise, you would be deep sleep. You'll be in deep sleep. There would be no movement. But since we are moving, changing, doing things, the creation continues just like we do our things, which are the, the microcosmic level. Hai na? Hum log jo karte hai, wo sukshma roop se, ek chawal ka dana, one grain of rice is, is you and me. The whole pot is the an allegorical. The whole pot is then uh, the cosmos, cosmic creation. So, but the content, the composition is exactly the same. So, instead of focusing on the whole cosmos, what should we do? Just con focus on our own selves. Apne upar dhyan karne se pura brahmand ka gyan mil jayega. Therefore, they say you are a moving temple. The whole universe resides within you. Aapke andar hi pura brahmanda samaya hua hai. You don't need to run here and there. Although for your entertainment you may do so. You may go to travel places or spiritual centers and pilgrimages and all that is good. But really within you is, is the whole cosmos at the micro level. So in fact, this entire nature is of the universe. The entire universe, not only the world system, but all the planets, all the 14 lokas, upar niche, jitne bhi lok hain, ye sab brahmandiya shakti se, jo bhi aapko dikhta hai is brahmand mein, wo shuddh chetna hi hai. That is pure consciousness. Just like your pure consciousness keeps you in the state of waking, dream, deep sleep, isn't it? You wake up, you dream, and then you sleep. What other activity do you do? The only other possibility is deep meditation and going into Turiya Sthiti, which most people don't know, especially in this Kali Yuga. But that is where your consciousness expands and guides you on the journey of liberation. Therefore, all these things, karma, bhakti, jnana, dhyana is needed. That's the process of integral yoga that we are currently studying through YouTube channel, isn't it? So that is what that meditative aspect is just like you create pure consciousness, your consciousness creates all these things much in the same way Brahma the creator of the universe is creating his uh, 
experience of waking dream and deep sleep not very hard to understand just like think of brahma as a big giant you you only not different you are doing it at your level he is doing it at his level in him is the whole universe in you is also the whole universe at the micro level to wo brahmandiy hai shakti hai aur aap uska chhota ansh ho but there is no difference in content everything is the same so according to the scriptures every creator you see they also have a life just like you and i have a life how much who knows who knows how much life we have how many years we are going to live but it's the quality not the quantity that matters quality lead a life filled with love compassion kindness joy happiness jab aap apna jeevan sukh purvak jiyenge to sabka hi kalyan hoga aapka bhi hoga usi se hi so every brahma every creator at the termination of his creation enters into brahman or the absolute so when brahma dreams the world system arises when one brahma retires these are positions brahma vishnu shiva are more like president vice president etc so the titles they are like titles and each time one brahma lives to 100 uh, divya years 100 devata so many billions of years on human life equivalent but they also end and then what happens another brahma comes and this brahma merges into the cosmic consciousness aise hi aap bhi till then the dream continues isn't it brahma is alive for you also same thing till you keep tumbling from one body to the other the dream is continuing some of the dreams are continuing in this life and then when this life terminates the dream will continue in another life and then when you achieve mukti self realization or liberation just like brahma terminates into brahman and you will also terminate into brahman and therefore you will unite in the same absolute there is only one absolute there are not infinite absolutes you see so another brahma carries on the commencement of a new creation just like you have another version of yourself in the next life same atma same senses mind and other things but in what kind of karma you have created what embodiment those may differ so in spite of the absence of a prior reference or a previous memory brahma creates this universe out of his own mind so what happens just like you create your dream out of your own mind if there are 20 people sleeping in one big room all of those 20 people will have different dreams different experiences different they'll be in a different astral body in the same room the expansiveness is so large they go through different world systems isn't it so that is what you create out of your mind your dream much in the same way brahma creates this universe out of his own mind also that is why we say neti neti not this not this not this why because when you wake up do you see anything of your dream <laughs> your waking up state isn't it not even a small kernel of popcorn that you were eating in your dream will be on your bed when you wake up the whole dream all or nothing that's what happens everything is gone when you wake up so the cosmic being brahma does not need anything other than himself in creating this universe just like you don't need anything else in creating your own dream do you need to call somebody and say tonight i will dream this or hey come help me put my dream together <laughs> you have no choice 
it happens spontaneously through your own consciousness and through your own um, chitta vritti chitta vritti nirodaha different uh, vibrations going on in your dream so you are also a small brahma without the aid of material elements or impressions of the past brahma creates the universe just like and you also create your universe your dream world isn't it when you wake up the your dream world doesn't exist when you wake up but when you dream it's absolutely existing isn't it absolutely you are going through the emotions the changes the phases everything is as if you are in that dream world only when you wake up you say ah just a dream much in the same way when brahma wakes up same thing happens this therefore shows that this world process is constituted of mental illusion which is what the founding principle of advaita philosophy is shankaracharya ji maharaj that's his philosophy where and all the sanyasi tradition follows this philosophy that brahma satyam jagana mithya jivo brahmaiva naparaha meaning this world is unreal brahma satyam what is real only that one entity that has created this whole universe brahma satyam and everything else is illusory just like your dream is totally illusory but you cannot say it's nothing you cannot say your dream is nothing because it is something why did you see a cat in your dream and you saw the color you saw the green grass you saw the mountains you heard voices so it does exist but as soon as you wake up gone so it's an illusion therefore we cannot say it exists we cannot say it doesn't exist that is the role of maya maya cosmic illusion mental illusion all these things they continue so what you are doing at your level brahma is doing at the cosmic level in his dream all these world systems are included brahma loka ar lok sutal patal mrityu lok prithvi um, inner world so many so many systems so experiences in dream are illusory isn't it illusory meaning not real they are not recollections from the past they can come from anything any rhyme or reason sometimes your dead relatives may come in your dream they are not real they are not here how do they come in the same way experiences in the waking state are not based on a real past karma theory is fine we have to accept however we go through therefore sometimes there will be prosperity sometimes adversity the journey will continue the world of past present and future is nothing but maya because it is all in that state of dream so kya matlab jab tak hum maya mein hain tab tak hum nirbhar hain bhagwan ke upar swapna ke upar is sansar ke upar lekin jab aap jag jayenge to ye sansar mithya ban jata hai so when we wake up till we are dreaming all these things are uh, very real the dream is real our experience is real when you wake up nothing much in the same way for the brahm for brahma also all these things of present past and future are cosmic illusion only maya only so for enlightened people they have pierced the veil of maya they are no longer dreaming and we are dreaming so till we wake up wake up meaning enlightenment liberation mukti if it happens while alive it is called jivan mukti meaning liberated in life and when we get it after we pass away 
but we have reached that state where we are not going to be born again it is called krama mukti krama mukti means gradual liberation meaning never coming back still and it doesn't matter which one you get the point is that you have forever terminated the cycles of birth and death which means you are now awake no more dream in fact the function of memory in an individual is based upon ignorance memory is now going to be analyzed by vashisht muni what is memory memory ko kya bolte hain hindi mein smriti smriti matlab hame kya kya yaad hai we have to go back to some experiences we learnt a for apple long time ago when we were children in kindergarten but we remember because we have this memory isn't it so memory implies an act of recollecting an actual past experience that is what memory is you say oh i don't remember what was that what was that can you and then you put some pressure on your mind and it doesn't come suddenly after 3 hours it will show up <laughs> oh that was the name of my friend i couldn't remember does that happen to you happens to everybody sometimes the memory is a little weak sometimes it's sharp and sometimes it's like your computer trying to find a file where did i put it where is which folder it's in where did i what happened and then you find it since no experience in this world of maya is absolutely real the impressions formed in the unconscious which cause the awakening of memory are as fictitious as recollection the experiences in one's dream so that is what they are basically vashishth muni is trying to tell us that don't rely on that as the authentic source either because memory itself is based on these experiences you have had which were simply your dreams isn't it when you wake up the only difference is we are looking at this practical life as real but real why because of ignorance otherwise we are repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again and decades are going and our life will also go like just flowing river but it is all anything that changes cannot be real जिस भी चीज में परिवर्तन होता है वो सत्य नहीं हो सकता सो वॉट इज रियल देन ओनली समथिंग दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट नो चेंज ये टूडे एंड द फ्यूचर विल ऑलवेज बी द सेम एंड देर इज नो सच थिंग इन योर वर्ल्ड लुक अराउंड योर बॉडी इज नो लॉन्गर अ बेबी बॉडी लाइक वेन यू आर बॉर्न इट चेंज इज इंट इट एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टू चेंज टिल वी डिपार्ट योर कार द मिनट यू ब्रिंग आउट ऑफ द शोरूम इट चेंज इज स्लोली इट गेट्स ओल्ड your life gets older things get older everything is in the process of change so when it's changing meaning it is on all maya only but you have to live in this world so you interact in this world like it is real so memory is also not real we just proved it by that experience because the impressions formed in the unconscious how were they formed through the same experiences that you are creating through your dreams and through other things same thing objects did not exist in the past nor do they exist in the present nor will they exist in the future so jo aapko ye pratiti matra hota hai bhram hai ye ki aaj ye vastu dikhti hai jaise sapne mein bhi vastu dikhti hai isn't it don't you see objects in your dream don't you feel them you can uh, smell touch taste feel everything in your dream is almost as if it is real except till you wake up then you say now it's not real much in the same way you have experienced all these things in the past present or future in reality they are all passing phases projections जैसे स्क्रीन पर पर्दे पर जब पिक्चर चलता है तो पर्दा जो है वो वैसे का वैसा ही रहता है स्क्रीन के ऊपर कुछ भी फर्क नहीं पड़ता द इन द मूवी देर मे बी इंटेंस रेन मूसलाधार बारिश हो रही है लेकिन आप पर्दा एक इंच भी नहीं भीगता द स्क्रीन डज नॉट हैव इवन वन ड्रॉप ऑफ वॉटर ऑन इट इज इंट इट सो मच फायर इन द मूवी you are even scared but is anything happening to the screen no ever the same so 
these objects are not real they are illusions just like the movie things come and they go that is why that's how marketing works that's how all the product products are sold ab ye naya model aa gaya ab ye cheez aa gayi ab wo aa gayi purana ho gaya ye kar diya to ye aata jata rahega this whole process will continue but they are all illusions how can there be any validity to the function of memory arising in the limited mind of an individual तो जब ब्रह्मांड भी सो रहा है ब्रह्मा जी भी उस स्थिति में निद्रा अवस्था में हैं और ये संसार की उत्पत्ति हो जाती है जैसे आपके स्वप्न की उत्पत्ति हो जाती है जब आप निद्रा अवस्था में जाते हो वेन यू आर ड्रीमिंग यू आर क्रिएटिंग सो और जो कुछ भी आपकी याददाश्त से आता है मेमोरी से वो भी तो आप ही का अनुभव किया हुआ है तभी तो आपकी याददाश्त में रहेगा दैट्स हाउ दैट मेमोरी विल कम बैक कम टू यू सो देर फोर देर इज नो वेलिडिटी उसमें कुछ भी सत्यता नहीं है सब कुछ क्षण भंगुर है स्वप्नवत है सो ब्रह्मन वेल्ड बाय इग्नोरेंस बिकम्स द बेसिस ऑफ रिकलेक्शन ऑफ मेमोरी तो वास्तव में क्या है जो ये ब्रह्मन का मतलब आपकी आत्मा जिसको आपका स्वरूप बोला जाता है सत्यता बताई जाती है आपका अनुभव तो ये जो है ये पर्दे से छिपा हुआ है तभी हम बोलते हैं प्रकाश दिखता नहीं क्योंकि इसके ऊपर ये झिल्ली लगी है किसकी अविद्या की अविद्या की झिल्ली इग्नोरेंस तो जैसे पर्दा पर्दे को रहने दो पर्दा ना हटाओ डोंट मूव द कर्टन बिकॉज इफ द कर्टन इज देयर यू डोंट नो वट्स बिहाइंड इट इज इंट इट that's what we used to do uh, in plays and still some shows do that there's a big curtain then the curtain moves then you can see the play hai na to aise hi in the same way brahman is veiled by ignorance avidya avidya parda hai jisne brahma ko chupa rakha hai aur jab hum dhyan karte hain meditation and when we do mental concentration jisko dharana dhyana samadhi kaha jata hai dharana is focus dhyana is a deeper focus meditation and then samadhi meaning you go beyond time and space so when we do that an individual enters into an illusory stream of memory that sustains this world process to us samay aap बुद्धि के कारण थ्रू योर इंटिव अवेयरनेस यू आर नाउ फोकसिंग ऑन द सोर्स ऑफ द लाइट अदरवाइज वी आर ओनली लुकिंग एट नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स तो जब प्रकाश की तरफ ध्यान नहीं है तो कहा ध्यान जाता है वस्तुओं की ओर ये लाल है ये पीला है ये वो है जैसे प्रकाश का अपना रंग तो नहीं होता है तो जब वो बिम उस प्रिज्म में से निकालते हैं तो सात रंग का बन जाता है द प्रिज्म ऑफ द the process turns this name and form naam aur roop ki pratiti matra humko milti hai the self is capable of remembering anything that it wills to remember so vastavikta kya hai what is the reality that it is your self that is doing all this but since we don't know the depth we say it is my memory or i like this or i hit that i found this and through that the intellect functions because we study in the world we become doctors we become successful people we earn lot of money and we think that our intellect can solve all problems but this is a different beast altogether this is not the world <laughs> presented to survive in the world you need buddhi you need man you need intellect you need good common sense you need a body but to get to see the self that self that knowledge is not given in schools it's not given in colleges it's not given by science isn't it to usko bola jata hai brahma vidya the knowledge of the self and for that knowledge you need spiritual masters teachers who have experienced this through their personal experience through their guide 
guidance just like somebody if you have never been to the top of the himalayas you don't know the obstacles do you you don't you can watch videos on youtube but you don't know what the actual experience is kitna thand hai kitna uska tapman hai where is it the road slippery where can the ice where what about my body can my body handle it all these things uh somebody who has gone up and down 10 15 times can tell you very quickly you are not prepared or let's do this first prepare learn to do some exercise then they will guide you and one day if you are determined enough you will go and you will succeed also but it all depends on the aspirant and the teacher the teacher has to be competent suppose uh, you get a foolish teacher who is actually just lying to you <laughs> he has never been on the real himalayas what will happen blind leading the blind he is also at risk you are also at risk so therefore it's very important that this journey be handled in a in a proper manner acche tarike se isko pakadna hoga the world process memory and the cycles of birth and death are coexistent so what does this mean ye sansar world process kya hai sansar me me and mine you and yours this is what we call the world system my family my house my job my things you and yours so as so as long as i am okay who cares but that is not a proper spiritual approach that's why we say we should always pray do what is practical and always have humility and compassion but just because you have it doesn't mean the whole world will you become a saint doesn't mean the world become saintly <laughs> there will be criminals there will be bad people good people jails uh, you know court systems and all kinds of things will continue to happen in the world तो संसार तो अपने तरीके से चलता रहेगा तो आपको प्रैक्टिकल रियलिटीज को ध्यान में हमेशा रखना है यू हैव टू कीप ऑल प्रैक्टिकल रियलिटीज इन इट्स प्रॉपर पर्सपेक्टिव सो मेमोरी एंड द साइकल्स ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ मतलब आपकी स्मृति ये संसार की जो नैया है और जीवन मृत्यु ये साथ साथ चलता है coexistent it means because you are in the world process therefore you rely on your memory and therefore you are stuck in the cycles of birth and death isn't it because if you are continuing to relate to the world which is nothing but a dream jo sapna hi hai ye dirgh swapna bola bolte hain isko aapke jeevan ko dirgh swapna aur jo raat ko sapna aata hai the nights night dream you see uh, in your dream a smaller shorter dream wo lagu swapna chhota swapna every day you will see something some dreams you remember some you don't remember but this life is a longer dream for this body when this body ends the next one starts so it is called a long dream so they coexist they are not separate from each other by receiving the teachings of an enlightened guru one brings about the termination of the world process so vashisht muni is saying this is why when we do satsang we we are communing with these enlightened sages swami jyotirmayananda ji shivananda ji krishnananda ji um, vashisht muni bhagwan ram lord rama in that human body in a embodiment is getting enlightened in his human body although they are brahman themselves they go through this process lord krishna then gave this knowledge to arjuna so many guru disciple relationships but you have to make sure that you are on the proper path ki aap jo hai ek jeevan mukt guru se gyan le rahe ho one brings about the termination of the world process why because otherwise it cannot happen no matter how much we read how many upanishads we read bhagavad gita we open we go through all these things eventually we have to go beyond name and form isn't it so beyond name and form can only happen through your personal experience but this is why they say enlightenment is something that your eye cannot see 
ear cannot hear nose cannot smell tongue cannot taste and touch cannot feel so what is it then that is where science stops human stop everything comes to a stand still and it comes through god's grace guru's grace and your of course your self effort first thing to know is god will help those who help themselves so you have to do your bit and only then the grace will even flow grace already is flowing think of the grace it's coming to all of you you are all not average sadhaks regularly you are giving up everything to be here for satsang satsang aap log kabhi bhi miss nahi karte hain so what it is means that you have already done many punyas in many past lives to be at the stage where you are getting this knowledge how many and we it's a gradual process how many lives it doesn't matter hum gin nahi sakte ki kitne jeevan hum aise jiye hain kitna jeevan jiye hain ye important bhi nahi hai it doesn't even matter so um, what happens with the cessation of the fictitious function of the memory one recollects i am brahman so what has happened is that due to avidya due to ignorance we cannot see the self isn't it otherwise it would be simple see the self go within see the self there is the light aha i am enlightened that's it you're done but it's not so simple because over many millions of embodiments we have had who knows how many doesn't matter but in every one of those you have put in data what is the data your good karmas bad karmas mixed karmas things experiences touch taste smell all those things have gone into your unconscious and subconscious so through that what is now happening is that they continue to give you uh, smell sometimes it's stinky smell sometimes it's good smell like if you are uh, cooking with garlic and onion people who do that they will know that even if you wash it the smell doesn't go easily the next day you can still smell the bottle and that stench will be there of the garlic and of the onion much in the same way these things are within us only even though we may have used them in the past lives and so on so when you will realize i am brahman then there is no question anymore so think of us as being think of it being night and most of us in night will only see darkness but for somebody who is enlightened is seeing day we are not seeing day yet we will at some point but not yet so till that time we will have to make those assumptions of what the sun will look like what will the morning be what is this what is that so this world is neither in the form of a recollection nor in the form of an actual objective existence we are in deep waters we are studying difficult concepts to understand therefore um, vashishth muni is explaining that in actuality look at your daily experience this is why we are supposed to do shravan manan nididhyasana shravan means listening manan means contemplation and nididhyasana is meditation so when we listen we we go quickly in this one hour satsang then we then we are done but after that you should um, introspect on some of these things deeper just like cud chewing animals do cow does they chew the grass first quickly then you may have seen them they are sitting leisurely they get that cow that green grass and then they churn it and enjoy it so much in the same way we should churn these things deeper on our own as part of our sadhana and then uh, in our meditation we should further think about it and that is the journey of a sadhak of an aspirant to go deeper and deeper on this path so 
since in the light of intuition there is no existence even for the cosmic illusion that causes superimposition on brahman so uh, the cosmic illusion kya hai the brahma maya illusion is always illusion so you have to remove the illusion to see the self जो प्रकृति और पुरुष है वो इकट्ठा है लेकिन जब तक जादू चल रहा है तब तक वो माया दिखती है टिल द मेजिशियन इज प्लेइंग विद हिज मैजिक इट विल ऑल अपियर रियल टू यू बट इट्स ओनली इट्स ओनली अ शो इट्स नॉट रियल दैट इज वॉट प्रकृति इज अपियर्स रियल बट इज नॉट रियल एट ऑल इवन दिस डेथ is like waking up from a dream going into another body is like uh, waking up in another dream so the journey continues this world is this is what the core philosophy of sanatana dharma is this is called the advait system non dual system which means everything you are seeing in multiplicity jo jo hame vibhinnata se dikh raha hai ye kya hai वास्तव में एक ही वस्तु है लेकिन उसका अलग अलग अनुभव है डिफरेंट ड्रीम्स डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक द सेम रेज ऑफ द वन सोलर सिस्टम सन दैट वी हैव इन अवर सोलर सिस्टम वन सन बट इट्स रेज आर रीचिंग एवरीवेयर टू ऑल ऑफ अस सो एवरी रे इज नथिंग बट द सन इज इन टेट मच इन द सेम वे एवरी कॉन्शियस जीवा whether they are an animal or a plant or a human being no matter who we are we are all made of the same material as brahman therefore we move we think we talk we act we speak we taste touch and the senses all vary according to different species but everything has a life they come grow and then they depart so seen in the light of intuition there is no existence even for the cosmic illusion that causes superimposition on brahman think about it we just talk yahi humne abhi baat kiya ki jo aap mein ho raha hai wahi brahma ji mein bhi ho raha hai whatever you are experiencing at your level brahma ji is experiencing at the cosmic level because there is no um, there is no difference only the scale changes one drop of ocean and the whole ocean itna hi farak hai samudra ki ek boond aur pura samudra to samudra ki ek boond aap hai pura samudra ko brahma ji samajh lijiye ye brahmand samajh lijiye usi tatva ka to bana hai it is made of the same thing so this world is devoid of a cause this is also where we all get Uh, into this quandary how was the world created why did god create this world why is there so much misery why these are all called paradoxical questions and questions that have uh, no proper answer it's an iterative question because there is no uh, no cause normally what happens everything has a cause how did you come into being your body from your parents they created you isn't it that was the cause you are the effect and uh, your cause was your studies the effect is your income so everything has a cause that you go through and uh, it will produce an effect through the cause but the world that we have does not have any cause because think of um, think of a um, spider spider what does it do it spits takes the spit out of its own um, stomach creates a web and then that's his that's his resource that's his home he's created the web from himself he didn't need any material external from himself when you build a house what do you need so many things contractor material wood nails hundreds of things you will need license and so much so that is the um, 
the cause and then the effect. Cause was you need a house and then you put in all the resources. They were the causes to put into effect the home you live in. So therefore, nothing is real. One experiences pain on the basis of visible objects of the world as well as their memories, isn't it? Some memories are so horrible, we don't want to think about them because the minute you think, your mood goes bad. You don't want to, it's an ugly experience. So therefore, you want to uh, stop that memory. The good memory, you want to keep on thinking about it again and again because it gives you joy, happiness. But nevertheless, they are all memories. One will give you pain, the other one will give you joy. Ek se dukh hoga aur ek se sukh hoga. Bas itna hi baat hai. When the mind remembers the death of one's dear relative, it becomes filled with grief. Even today, our parents have gone many years ago. We think of them now every Father's Day. You remember your father or your mother or somebody special in your life. And um, you are a little melancholy. I wish they were here with me. We miss you. So that's what that means. It's a memory that goes and fills us with grief. It is therefore important to have deep insight into the illusoriness and unreality of all objects of the world. So even the physical ones, they are here today. They weren't here before and they will not be here again, isn't it? We know that. So then what is the issue? The issue is the uh, ignorance. We think this is real and we think that is a dream. Nobody questions a dream, but everybody questions the, the living stage. But even that is a dream from after death. What will happen? Nothing. So we didn't exist before, we won't exist after. So when something doesn't exist before and will not exist after, it is only illusory even from that standpoint, isn't it? So therefore, all this is your dream didn't exist before and it won't exist after you wake up. So therefore, it's only a phase. Much in the same way, your reality is also nothing but a phase. So wahi hai. Since the world does not exist, there is absence of bondage and consequently, there is termination of all miseries. So, the minute you get that knowledge, then you are no longer bound by the ignorance because now you have learned how the process works and the curtain has opened up. So, jab parda khul jata hai, to ab aapko sab dikhi raha hai. You can see everything. So, this was the section we have completed, section 172, and moving on to section 173 and 174. Remember, we are in the later stages of this beautiful scripture. So, therefore, it is uh, the most advanced teachings. Just like if you are a PhD student, you initially have to be first in admitted into the program, make sure you have a master's degree and then you put in your dissertation project and all that. So that is why uh, this is so deep and profound at this stage because we are um, getting closer and closer to the journey of um, the serious aspirant. So now Vashisht Muni is continuing the negation of illusion. See, illusion, maya, all these are synonymous terms. Ek jaisi hi ye shabd lagte hain. Brahm, illusion, jisko bola jata hai. Maya shakti, jo dikhta to hai, lekin vastavik nahi hai. Just like the sky appears blue, but it's not really blue. The earth is rotating, but it doesn't look like it's rotating. <laughs> Isn't it? So, all this stuff is illusory. We are growing, but it doesn't look we are growing. And somebody else will see you after five years. We will say, oh, you look different. You have aged. Or if you look at especially younger kids, they grow up so quickly, you know. So, Sage Vashishtha continued with the rising of the clear understanding that all this is Brahman, one attains liberation. Now, why are we not liberated then? Because we theoretically know it. 
<laughs> we have read it we know it we have been to ashrams we we know yeah yeah swami ji i have read bhagavad gita i know what it says that atma is immortal and all that it's like a picture of food <laughs> but you are hungry what do you do you need to eat it isn't it aapko bhojan khana padega keval picture dekhne se pet thodi bhar jayega just watching at the move uh, at the picture of the food is not going to give you satisfaction ek picture bhojan ka chitra dekhne se pet nahi bharta hai to kaise bharega how what will happen when you actually eat it jab aap us bhojan ko पचाएंगे और खाएंगे एंड वो कैसे होगा हाउ विल दैट हैपन थ्रू कंटिन्यूड साधना प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज इट कम्स थ्रू गॉड्स ग्रेस एंड इट डजेंट टेक टाइम द मिनट दैट इल्यूजन इज गॉन एंड वेन एवर गुरुज ग्रेस एंड गॉड्स ब्लेसिंग एंड योर ओन एफर्ट कम इन टू हारमनी दैट कर्टन विल ओपन वेन इट विल ओपन यू कैनॉट फोर्स इट यू कैनॉट पुश इट you cannot complain about it it has to be done by and you cannot fake it either it's okay initially you may get into it oh like bhagavad gita se shuru mein wish jaisa baad mein amrit banta hai that's very true so you have to continue but ye sadhana ka jo marg hai the same scriptures tell you it's a razor edge sword दोनों तरफ तलवार की धार है इधर पैर रखोगे तो काटा उधर पैर रखोगे तो काटा बोथ साइड्स आर फुल ऑफ शार्प एजेस सो यू कैन ब्लीड एंड द अदर थिंग दिस इज व्हाट दैट इट इज एज इजी एज प्लकिंग अ फ्लावर फॉर राजा जनक ही वाज ऑलरेडी एन एडवांस्ड डिसाइपल अष्टावक्र केम एंड ही गॉट एनलाइटन fairly quickly but for arjuna it took a long time 18 chapters and then lord krishna said now you go find a guru and sit with him and learn these mysteries and attain enlightenment god himself is also saying the same thing so ye this is not something that a guru will just touch knock your head and you will get enlightened wo oh, you will have to put in the effort and both both guru and disciple then they continue on the journey together and serious and you have to be sincere totally sincere and not looking for shortcuts because this world is full of in this fast day and age is jagah mein hum bhaga bhagi bhaga swami ji jaldi jaldi karo na gyan de do jaldi se give me quickly <laughs> so it's like they say and they argue science is advancing why can't spirituality also advance why can't we fast forward things why can't we make it so much the better but you know what is happening things are becoming more and more available but problems are also increasing isn't it aapka material life mein sab kuch to badh raha hai lekin jitna bada sar utna bada sar dard also the headache is also proportionally increasing peace has gone so many people are not finding peace because they are running around just for in the world of illusion only so as long as the mind conceives of reality in the three worlds one lingers in a state of bondage phir se suniye jab tak hum man ko वास्तविकता ये संसार की सत्य प्रतीति होती रहेगी जब तक ये संसार हमें असली दिख रहा है चाहे तीनों लोकों में आकाश में धरती पर और पाताल में कहीं पर भी हम सब अविद्या में हैं वो सब प्राणी अविद्या में हैं ऑल द सोल्स हु आर थिंकिंग ऑफ देयर वर्ल्ड सिस्टम्स एज देयर रियलिटी आर इन इग्नोरेंस देयर फोर दिस जर्नी इज ऑफ अ चोजन फ्यू very very few people are qualified to but everybody must go through that process and just like gangotri you go um, gomukh where the ganga comes and then it eventually goes through a long journey eventually it merges into ganga sagar thousands of kilometers it has to go so as a he much in the same way we start on this journey and uh, it happens but learn the process through don't be in a rush that's why they say enjoy it enjoy the process don't be just 
waiting when will it happen how will it happen how come it had happened i have done so much sadhana unko to ho gaya hame to kuch hota hi nahi you say itne der se hum kar rahe hain practice swami ji 3 30 years ho gaya that doesn't matter it's not the time you are looking at it is how much focused effort you are putting in isn't it so consistent daily sadhana under a competent qualified guru and guru um they are not this body we always talk about it ki guru sharir nahi hai wo gyan ki dhara hai and the guru is beyond kabhi that's why we say guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay shri guruve namaha because he is god's representative on planet earth giving you practical knowledge of his whole experience and sharing it with you with love and compassion and because god is doesn't have time you know he's got four hands and so many multiple problems to deal with so he says you are my form only that's why this shloka has come into being that god will never contradict what the guru does because those true gurus are very very few in this world otherwise these are not gurus people running after money name fame popularity how many youtube hit hits billions of people following and this and that all this is trading only people who go there also are foolish and people who are giving this knowledge also are limited in a way because they are keeping you stuck in the world process how many satsangas are truly enlightened masters there are swami ji jyotirmay nand ji and uh, we have today uh, so nice to see shalesh gulati ji he is a uh, swami premananda ji is a devotee in uh, uttarkashi i stayed there swami premananda ji beautiful and enlightened master i listen to him shivananda society those are beautiful beautiful sages saints who will guide you properly otherwise this blind leading the blind business is very dangerous and you also have to know can you buy gold for 10 dollars what will you get fake chain that's all it will look better than gold very shiny but useless so that's what happens when people try to cut corners this is what um, all the sages and saints will tell you that the state of jeevan mukti you are asking for the highest of the highest you are asking god that i never want to be born again show me your mystery show me the miracle of who you really are and that secret has to be decoded when you become like him in order to what become god you have to be try to be as pure and as sincere as him and that comes through this um, parampara beautiful parampara so um the state of jeevan dream arises without contradicting the state of sleep isn't it you don't have to actually buy a ticket in your dream to go somewhere <laughs> you sleep in your bed and comfortably you are sleeping and the dream shows up do you actually take the journey how does it happen so in the same way the state of jeevan mukti or liberation in life arises even while the personality of a sage lingers in the dream of the world process did you understand so what we are basically saying is just like the sage is as if dreaming he is awake he is liberated but for him the world is nothing more than a, a dream process only is just lingering in the so for them this becomes transient but for us it's very real are ye ho gaya wo ho gaya job mein promotion mil gaya to celebrate karo kuch dukh aaya to ro what else will you do what else will we do but uh, because we think it's real isn't it that's why we cry that's why we celebrate that's why we get excited and all that but if you knew that this will also come and go that will also come and go ye bhi ek tarang hai wo bhi ek tarang hai ye choti tarang wo badi tarang kya farak padta hai what difference does it make if everything is the same so basically um, that is the journey of the liberated sages 
they are dreaming while we are not in your waking state isn't it so this world is like a city in dream this whole world itself is a speck isn't it brahmand mein ye vishv kya hai ek chhota sa kan hi to hai पूरे ब्रह्मांड के कॉस्मोस के हिसाब से सो देर फोर अ मैन ऑफ विजडम डज नॉट डिवेलप अटैचमेंट्स टू दी ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड देर फोर वैराग्य आना आवश्यक है आवश्यक मैंडेटोरी इफ यू थिंक यू कैन गेट टू लिबरेशन एंड आल्सो बी फुली इंटॉक्सिकेटेड विद वर्ल्डली पोजेशन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट एंड थिंग्स एंड यू आर अटैच टू देम फॉर गेट अबाउट लिबरेशन that is not possible the only way it's possible is when your approach changes mind you mind you we are not saying you stop using the objects or or not try or not have them that's not the point kings were enlightened in india in sanatan dharma many kings were enlightened king janak lord krishna lord rama you know they were all um, royalties so what but what they are basically saying is ki don't get totally intoxicated by these sense objects don't inse itna prabhavit nahi ho jao ki tum apna jeevan jeena bhool jao aur mukti ka marg bhool jao so a man of wisdom does not develop attachments to the objects of world wisdom kya hai buddhi when it will make you make right decisions man kya kahega man kya bolega char rasgulle aur kha lo aur buddhi kya bolegi diabetes hai kasht mein aa jaoge isn't it so the intellect will always give you um, what i was just saying in hindi is that um, the mind will say these rasgullas look delicious let me eat four five of them they look so good and then the intellect will chime in and say remember you have diabetes not a good idea <laughs> you will run into a lot of pain later so you then control yourself so even though your intellect sounds like an enemy it's really your friend isn't it because it's telling you what you should do much in the same way gurus and enlightened masters tell us to do things we may or may not like but it doesn't matter they want our benefit only hamara kalyan karte hain therefore uh, what do they teach us they say get away from the attachment to the objects it's very easy to say i am not attached but are you really not attached that is the test when that thing is taken away how do you feel what happens can you function those are the real tests if you can function fine and if it's gone and it comes it doesn't matter aa gayi to acha chali gayi to bhi theek hai then you are fine but if you are just uh, uh, superficially saying oh swami ji i am not attached to these things but you only want to stay in five star hotels anything uh, sleeping on the floor oh my body hurts back hurts this that you not used to so bear, therefore basically the thing is of course practical considerations are okay your body comfort is okay if you can squat that's perfectly fine sit on a chair and meditate hold your mala and uh, comfort of the body after all is needed but not luxury to the point of uh, delusion that's what we are saying attachments are not good so when awakened the dream is a faced when enlightened the self alone remains kitna aasan baat hai so when you when you will wake up the dream can you dream and be awake at the same time no either you are dreaming or you are awake <laughs> it you cannot do both so um so if you say hey are you sleeping you sometimes tell a person's name loudly are you sleeping if he says yes yes i'm sleeping is he sleeping <laughs> is he really sleeping if he was sleeping how could he say yes yes i'm sleeping no if he is hearing you he is not sleeping he is in the process of sleeping if he is sleeping he would not know so therefore when awakened the dream is away effaced the minute you wake up the dream runs away when enlightened much in the same way the self alone remains 
So we will conclude our satsang here and we will start this journey next Friday. So we will take this here and we will start the section 173 We will continue this beautiful journey together. So thank you to all of you beautiful, beautiful souls and may this um, knowledge of wisdom continue and let me um, thank everybody who is here. Shankarji, thank you for, I hope you are enjoying these satsangs. You probably wake up at 3.30 a.m. in the morning in London time or whatever, four o'clock, I think. So wonderful. Brahma Mahurat Sadhana Satsang, continue that journey. And uh, Yogini Ji, Dhanyavad, Roshni, Priya Ji, Nirmala Ji is here today. Thank you, may you and Shekhar Ji, thank you for all, uh, continue with the satsangs and um, it's so nice to see all of you. Oh, Julie Ji bhi hai, Pranam Julie Ji, Hari Om Tatsat and uh, Devika Anil Ji bhi, Om Tatsat and Shalesh Gulati Ji, I feel so blessed you are here with us today. And uh, I don't know what time it is in, uh, in India now, must be early morning. So indeed, I agree, best uh, literature of uh, divine yoga Vashishta in the universe. And uh, Premanandji Maharaj learned this from our Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj. He was narrating to us, uh, he got inspired by Swamiji. And our Guruji is 92 now, still in physical form. So it's a big blessing for all of us. Please give my Dandavat Pranams Shalesh Ji to uh, Premanandji Maharaj. And may he have a long, healthy life. And all of you also stay blessed. Roshni Ji, aapko bhi bo dhanyavad. And Priya Ji, of course, you are all, you are all advanced sadhaks. So remember, the boat of liberation. We don't want many separate boats. We all want to go together on it. <laughs> so it will be, and it's very much possible. So enjoy the journey and don't worry about the destination. We'll get there together. Hari Om Tatsat. With this, uh, let us do our Aarti and um, conclude our satsang for today. So Aarti Karke. And we have, um, I forgot to tell you, we have Aaron Ji here uh, on Zoom. He's always on Zoom, not on Facebook, and um, very dedicated. He's always here. So, Aaron Ji, thank you. And I know you also follow the YouTube very beautifully. I love your comments. So, please. And Yogini Ji, of course, is very regular. So, all of you, may you be blessed in your in many, many ways. May Guru's guidance and our uh, Swamiji's blessings be with all of you. Swami Jyotirmayananda Ji and his mission on whatever we are trying to do on this holy journey. So let's do our Aarti and then uh, we'll conclude. Now I did want to tell you this Sunday, we, Julie Ji has told us that she will take care of um, the internet situation. We have talked to the management, but we hope and pray. All we can do is hope and pray that things will work out beautifully. But if not, please understand. And if it does get cut off or something, then uh, we will try to log back on. Or uh, if my because we are at satsang at that time. So Swami LP, maybe she'll go on her um, phone in case mine doesn't work, but we are hoping they have resolved the issue. They told us uh, they need a stronger connector uh, for the Wi-Fi, um, And uh, let's hope that resolves it. So uh, we will see you on Sunday morning. Aap sabko 10.30 a.m. as we always do between 10.30 and 11. And thank you, Julie Ji, for, um, for all our growing pains and you being the guinea pig and helping us out. So thank you for that. And I hope the issue is resolved this Sunday. So let's do Aarti together and we will conclude our satsang and we will continue the journey every single week, every Thursday, sorry, Friday and Sunday till we um, get more and more immersed in this. So blessings, keep up the great bhakti and sadhana, the way you are all going. I'm very happy with your um, attendance and your regular, regular practice. So let's do Aarti. <clears throat> Om Jai Jai Aarati Vigna Vinayak Vigna Vinayak Shri Ganesha 
जय जय आरती सुब्रमण्य सुब्रमण्य कार्तिके जय जय आरती वेणुगोपाला वेणुगोपाला वेणु लोला पाप विदुरा नवनीत चोरा जय जय आरती वेंकट रमणा वेंकट रमणा संकट हरणा सीता रामा राधे श्यामा जय जय आरती गौरी मनोहर गौरी मनोहर भवानी शंकर सांबा सदा शिव उमा महेश्वर जय जय आरती राज राजेश्वरी राज राजेश्वरी त्रिपुर सुंदरी महाकाली महालक्ष्मी महासरस्वती महाशक्ति जय जय आरती आंजनेया आंजनेया हनुमंता जय जय आरती दत्तात्रेया दत्तात्रेया त्रिमूर्ति अवतारा जय जय आरती सदगुरुनाथा सदगुरुनाथा शिवानंदा सदगुरुनाथा ज्योतिर्मयानंदा सदगुरुनाथा साई बाबा जय जय आरती विघ्न विनायक न त्र सूर्यो भाति न चंद्र तारक नेमा विद्युत भाति कुतोयम अग्नि तमे भात अनुभाति सर्व तस्य भाषा सर्वद विभाति त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमेव बंधना मृत्योर्मोक्षीयृता स्वस्तिर्भवतुर्भवतुर्ण मंगल सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुख भाग भवे अस तो मदगमया तम सो मोतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय ओ सहनावत सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीर कर्वा वह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शाति 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 चरण वा कायज कर्म जम वा श्रवण नयन जम वा मानस वा पराधम विहितम विहितम वा सर्व मे तक्षमस्व जय जय करुणाधे श्री महादेव शंभो ब्रह्मापणम ब्रह्म हवी ब्रह्म ब्रह्मनाहुत ब्रह्म तेन गंतव्यम ब्रह्म कर्म सामदीन अहम वैश्वानरो भूत्वा प्राणीना देहमाश्रिता प्राण अपान सयुक्ता पचा मनम चतुर्विधम हरि ओ तत्सत ब्रह्मर्पणमस्तु समस्त लोका सुखिनौ I forgot to also thank Devika Anil Pal ji and uh, Roshni ji. Roshni ji, you are in all the satsangs. So, God bless you. You are in all the satsangs. You are in all the all the satsangs. And uh, um, all of you, Devika Anil ji, uh, thank you for joining the satsang today. So, for all of you, we will conclude now and we will see you on Sunday morning between 10.30 and 11.00. and we are hoping for a smoother experience this time for all of you we are fully aware of the pain it causes when we are all carefully listening and all of a sudden the volume the audio is gone or the internet is interrupted but we live in this uh, technology world so thank you for your um, patience and understanding so hari om tat sat god bless each one of you shakti bhakti mukti om tat sat om tat sat ओम तत्स